hello hello you beautiful souls welcome back to my channel my name is michelle we talk all things life love spirituality love attraction all of that juicy goodness in this video we are going to talk about how to outsmart your limiting beliefs which is basically becoming an observer of the thoughts that you're telling yourself and then shooing them away and planting in new thoughts this is everything in life because our minds are so powerful and they can be really powerful in the wrong direction. So the first step is becoming the observer. In all of my sessions, my goal is to help my clients step out of the mind and witness it. And when you can see your thoughts that pop up that are so bonkers, they are not your reality and you do not have to believe them. Once you see them, you kind of laugh at it and you're like, oh my gosh, my entire life, I felt like I was a victim to my own thoughts. I would say, you know, don't say that in front of me because I don't want to think that thought. I was somebody who feared people saying things because then I would adopt that and then, oh, I don't want that to be true. Or if somebody told me something about myself, I felt like I had to believe it. And now it's like, it's almost like a sliding glass door is in front of me at all times. And I want you guys to practice this too. So this is the meat of the lesson right here. This is how to outsmart your limiting beliefs. You are going to shut an imaginary sliding glass door in front of you. It's going to separate you from the ego, from the mind. And you're going to see all of these words kind of plastered on this door, right? almost like Klingons on a, a window. So you're seeing all of these words and thoughts and you're, you're getting to pick and choose which ones you want to believe in. And the ones that you don't wanna believe in, they're just gonna fall off the door onto the ground and they're just gonna go away. And you're not gonna have to even think the thought again or worry that that thought is gonna come true because it fell off the door. Anything that is sticking to that door is what the universe is going to bring you. So you get to choose what is going to be on this imaginary door. And I always like to say, once we become the observer, we see all the different thoughts, we peel off the ones we don't want. And then all of a sudden we can sit down and journal, I want to choose to believe this. And then we're going to stick it on the door, wait a week and see what the universe does with that thought or that feeling or that emotion, you could say something like, I want financial freedom. And then you could take it a step further and you can say, I want to wake up and I want to have the freedom to do whatever I want without having to go to a certain job. You could write that belief down and put that on your door. When you go deeper into the feeling, maybe you want to feel relief about your finances. Maybe you want to feel invigorated by your partner. You know, you're going to put down the feelings as well, because that's how we outsmart all of those other thoughts that tell us it can't happen. And as soon as you put up a new thought on that door, you're going to start to see five thoughts that follow it that will doubt it. And then you become the master of your mind because you see it more clearly now. It's literally right in front of you on a door. And you're like, oh my gosh, my whole life, I've been letting the next five thoughts after my first really good one, I've been letting that rule me. And that's your ego. Your intuition is a first whisper that's soft. It's a suggestion. It's like, hey, maybe we should do this. And then all the thoughts after it are your ego. It's telling you why it's not safe and why you can't do it and it'll never happen to you. You're not worthy of it. The minute you see it on that door, all of those extra thoughts, that's when you become the master of your reality. Everybody out there that is living a life that you want to live, they have become an observer of their thoughts. So this is how you outsmart your own limiting beliefs. You see them, you peel them off, put new ones up. As more start to creep up, more negative ones, you keep peeling them off and you just keep peeling off and adding on. And it's consistent. I have to do it every single day in my life. As soon as I start to get on that old loop of, oh, Michelle, you need to do more to make money. I say, no, I am going to intentionally take a complete break and do nothing and watch things unfold. So yesterday I was babysitting my nieces and I spent the whole day at the pool with neighbors. And then the neighbors came back to my house and I ordered them lunch and we were just hanging out. And about like six hours into my day, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm off the manifesting journey. I haven't talked about work. I haven't done anything. I was completely checked out of my job. 
and what I do here on YouTube. And I was disconnected from my social media, which felt really nice. But my subscriber count went up yesterday. <laughs> so when we pull back and we forget about it all, that's when things start to grow or that's when more money comes in. So remember, when you let go and when you really pay attention to what you're telling yourself, you create more space for new to come in. So let's outsmart those limiting beliefs of yours and let's plant new seeds and then take a break and then get off the journey for a bit and see how the universe brings it to you. It is so fun. It is so exciting to do this. I love living life this way. It's so much more enjoyable than listening to those old thoughts on that door that controlled us and made us live in fear and suffering. So if you need help in your journey, everything's in the description box below. I would love to help you become an observer of these thoughts. And there's so many different practices that you can do. There's meditation, taking a bath, journaling. You are in charge of your reality. And I want to motivate you to take control and to give yourself the life of your dreams. You are in charge. Never, ever, ever forget that. If something is happening that you don't like, ask yourself, how did I create this? What is on my door? that has been on there for a while and what do I need to peel off? And you reset, you clear the door and you start fresh every single minute. Not you don't wait until tomorrow, you start fresh right now. You can change anything in an instant. All right, lovies, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.